Hey guys, I'm joined now on the stage by Jake from 17-Bit. We're going to talk about Galaxy. Yeah. I love this game. I played it yesterday and I fell in love with it. Everything from just classic shooter gameplay to that 80s anime aesthetic. Tell us a little bit, for anybody who's not familiar, what Galaxy is all about. So Galaxy is kind of a modern reinterpretation of a classic arcade game, right? So perfect controls, you know, really great combat, and the nice thing is it's a roguelike, so it's procedurally generated, so every time you play, it's going to be a different challenge. It's a very difficult game, and it's not at all memorization-based. It's all about the technique and sort of learning how the enemies fight and how to take advantage of their, you know, their distinct weaknesses. The AI is very high level in this game. We, we've actually invested quite a bit with a, a new startup called Sentient that's an AI middleware company. And so the AI is really is on par with something like Far Cry or Halo or whatever. I mean, it's a lot of intelligent reactions. The guys are out on patrols. They've got eyes and ears. It looks like this classic old, you know, kind of shooting game, but there's actually more like, like Far Cry in 2D. That's really interesting. I love that because with these wide open sort of levels here and this sort of free flowing, you know, it, it initially looks when you're watching the trailer, like you said, like a classic arcade game, like it's going to be a side-scrolling shooter, like just a straight-up kind of bullet hell sort of thing. But when I, when I was playing it, I loved how wide open, how many paths there were, and I was really, really surprised by how well the enemy fighters were following me as I was like, taking loops around and taking... Yeah, you can't just turns. run from them. It's not like Metal Gear where you can kind of close to the next room and clear everything out. Like, they will track you. They will continue to track you. They don't give up. They will send out search orders. They'll call for backup. You know, they will go into a distinct search mode where they're looking in nicks and crannies. If they see you, they'll call out for more backup. They'll get their closer... Their stronger guys in close, have the smaller guys out with, you know, just offering supporting fire. It's really a different experience than what you've played before in a shooting game like this. Yeah, and, and to kind of up the ante along with that enemy AI, you guys chained up the way uh, I would expect a ship to perform in a game that looks like a classic shooter as well. I was surprised by the maneuverability and the weapon systems. Tell us a little bit about how the ship gets around. So it's, it's completely based on Newtonian physics, right? It's, it's zero gravity, so you've got absolute control over your ships, like Battlestar Galactica. You can side strafe, forward boost, back boost. You've got absolute control in this physics-driven environment. I love physics-driven gameplay. I love like the Skate series, and you know I loved uh, the original Wave Race more than anything. I used yes. to play those games just so much. And so there's a really long skill ramp up in games like this, where you just spend so much time with it, and you become so good at it, where the controls, you don't even think about it. You've got absolute control, but you're not thinking about that at all. I, I haven't thought about the controls in this game in a long, long time, because you're so, it, they're so transparent, and you're, you know, you're able to just move in every direction, yeah. jump over rolls of fire coming in, and just run. I mean, when the, when the combat gets really bad, and your things start lighting up, your shields yeah. are down, and your health is down, like, it tells you, just run. Like, don't fight right now. Get out of here and yeah, try to just get some distance. Yeah, the maneuverability was great. Uh, the, the way the thrusters are working, with just a forward, a back, a sudden stop. You know, the ability to kind of turn on a dime, or what was best is when I really got the hang of the reverse, and I came into this open area close to the goal, and everybody swarmed me, and I was just immediately like, nope, back up, bye, sorry. Yeah, bust out of there, you know, get some cover, keep a distance, you know, there's, there's just a million ways to approach combat that Real player agency in a spaceship fighting game, a spaceship shooting game, is something I've, I've not seen before. That's, that's the thing, man. It, I was not used to being so present when playing just a shmup. You know what I mean? Yeah. You usually kind of like sit down and tune out and kind of get into that zen state of like, okay, I'm going right and I have to avoid bullets. So it was great to just really feel that level of control and really feel that sort of malevolence in the enemies, like they knew where you were. Well, the good thing is, too, there's, there's four factions. There's your own faction, there's the space pirates, there's the giant bugs, and then there's the Imperials. And they're all kind of at war, too. So if you're being pursued by a bunch of Imperials and you're running around and you see a giant bug, you know you fly over there, he'll start helping you attack. I mean, he'll go after you, too, but you yeah. can kind of zip past him and leave him in the way. You know, if the Pirates are coming this way and the Imperials are coming this way, they'll just clash into a big battle of their own and kind of take themselves out allowing you to either sneak off or sort of pick off the, you know, the losers. That's kind of awesome, just these momentary forced alliances with the AI. Yeah, and it's, it's great for the designers. I mean, we play it every single day, so having this generated content means I get a different experience every single time I play. I, I like dying. I like playing this game to the point where you know, we have the difficulty on the hard mode turned up to just ridiculous levels, so I barely even finish a mission ever. But it's just so challenging and so perfectly fun. Like, I don't mind dying and just doing it again and, you know, getting these just crazy combat situations. I think 
the streamers and the Twitchers and stuff are going to have a real heyday with this game because so many crazy things pop up, these crazy moments that you couldn't even have predicted, and I can't wait to see all that stuff coming on, online. Yeah, like I, it's so funny. The little bits of things that you take for granted, I, I saw a bunch of little canisters and crates, and so I immediately just wanted to shoot them and just get my spaceship power up out of it. And I shot a canister and it started slowly leaking gas and kind of just like bouncing around and all of a sudden I was like, oh no, I just killed myself, potentially. Yeah, those things are dangerous. You know, it's, it's best to not shoot them off the walls, but you know, when you need that distraction, when you need that half second to get away, you, there's all kinds of stuff in the environment to interact with. I call it the scramble. I love like GTA, I love running yeah. from the cops and like understanding perfectly the game world, like the physics of everything, like what my, my role in this place is. And then when you're in that mad scramble mode, you're just like interacting with the environment. You're knocking stuff over, you're kicking chairs their way. You know, I love those kung yeah. fu movies where they're doing that stuff. And so this game is, uh, is full of stuff like that. You've got these exploding spores, you've got the, the sticky spores that'll slow guys down. So if you're being chased, you can turn around, pop those things open, and you know, they'll all get stuck in that, and it'll buy you that half second that it can save your life. That's amazing, man. When are we going to be able to get our hands on Galaxy? Uh, Galaxy will be coming for PS4 and Vita late this year. Awesome. Thanks so much. PlayStation.